Oh, yeah, you were pumping. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Dirty Folk Podcast. I'm Max Mooseman, joined by my lovely wife, Harper the Fox. That's me. How you doing, lovely? I'm doing great. My butthole is so clean. That's good. (laughs) Yeah. Was it filthy? I mean, it had been a couple days since a real good shower, so probably. (laughs) I was feeling gross. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. But now I feel so clean. Did you scrub your butthole? I gave it a good scrub. I shaved my legs, shaved my pits. You, you were in there. Face. It was was I just distracted and like lost to my work? Cause it seemed like you weren't in there for very long at all. I'm efficient, but it was on the longer side of my showers. Yeah. I How have, are you? Oh, good. I've been in a time vortex of computer work, so I don't know where I am or who I am, but I'm ready to talk about some filthy stuff. Let's do it. I'm so excited. Okay. I got a few here, so let me... Okay. If you had to legalize a currently illegal sex act, Hmm. which one would you pick? And is your answer different if you also have to perform that act once a year for the rest of your life? Holy shit. Okay, I think I have an obvious answer that might be a cop out. Let's hear. Sodomy. Isn't sodomy still illegal in like a bunch of places? I think they're all off the books now. You think so? I think sodomy laws are off the books everywhere. So. And we're talking United States. Yeah, it has to be something that you think if you did it, you'd be breaking the law. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. So, so we're Stop talking about the ones. big, the big ones. The biggies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hmm. The list isn't that long because then you just get into variations of things. So, like, I don't think you need to like. I I would judge you if you're like, if your answer was like threesomes with children and dogs, <laughs> at the. <laughs> Three, a threesome with a child and a dog at the same I mean, time. What if that's just the magic potion combination that makes it all okay? <laughs> what if your lovely wife wanted to make that argument? I, I mean, you can. I'm just saying it would raise some red flags to me and others. Right. If you started combining the big ones mm-hmm. into something very specific. Okay. People would maybe think that's something yeah. you were into. So, so the big ones... Uh, when you get into sex crime, uh, rape, fucking the dead, fucking kids, fucking animals. I think that pretty much covers it. Yeah. It's not a long list. No. And this question is awful. (laughs) (laughs) If, yeah, if I have to do it. Yeah, does your answer change if you have to do it? I think it does. Because I think if I were to just straight up legalize any one of them, the one that I think is like the least damaging is necrophilia. Yeah. Real quick. Someone just subscribed to the email list. Oh, ring a ding ding Great to have you. At dirtyfolk.com. You can subscribe for free. You get a every so often update. Yep. And you can tell us if you support fucking the dead right it's basically the only place i respond to any kind of comments yeah because most social media (sighs) yeah okay so you're fucking dead people well that's the thing i think my answer would have to change because like in in the scope of things that i think are the least damaging fundamentally like i would have to legalize necrophilia because if some people want to fuck dead people like like I'm disgusted. I don't want to do it, but like... Right, but if their loved ones rent you their dead body... Yeah. You know, that's a family decision and you should respect that. Yeah, it's... (laughs) (laughs) But if I have to do it once a year, is, is there something else that I would more accept? Would you rape once a year to not have to fuck dead people? I immediately start trying to think of outs because, like, 
by some definitions, like, if I were to, like, once a year fuck a dude who's, like, pretty drunk, like, some would call that mm. rape because he can't consent. Nah, come on. Gotta live with the real world here. <laughs> <laughs> but I thought where I thought you were going is, like, if you fucked a dude who was, like, a day before the age of consent. Right. That's the other out that I'm yeah. trying to think through is, like, if if it's not just, like, fucking all ages fucking is now legal, if the law changes, like, okay, like, 17-year-olds can now fuck. Yeah, can fuck adults. Yeah. Yeah, it's a tricky one. So if if you don't have to do it, you're going with necrophilia. Yep, if I don't have to do it, I think it's a pretty easy answer. In that world, do you think, like, it's like being an organ donor? Do you have to put, like, something on your id <laughs> willing or say, to fuck <laughs> willing to fuck <laughs> because like or do you think it'd just be a free-for-all like dead bodies are trash and <laughs> tr <laughs> trash is essentially found property so i mean i would certainly prefer if you, if if you is... find it you fuck it <laughs> <laughs> I would certainly prefer if there was some sort of consent tick box, because then you could have a whole industry develop around this uh -huh. where like you don't just have like fucking moldering, awful, stinky corpses. You could have corpses that are like pretty well preserved and like it would revolutionize up. the uh, what are they called? People who dress up bodies in funeral homes. Morticians. It would revolutionize the mortician industry. Oh, yeah. You have to be making, like, sexy, sexy dead bodies. Mm -hmm. It's not wearing their suit and their, like, night or their nicest, like, white dress or something like that. Oh, yeah. Now we're getting the push-up bra on there. <laughs> I just learned about, uh, I heard of an interview with a mortician who got a request from, like, a s dead stripper's friends that she'd be buried in, like, her stripper garb. And this mortician had to be like guys there's like too much skin showing like i can't make all that skin look pretty yeah yeah it's gonna look bad yeah man look like a dead stripper <laughs> is what you're gonna look like <laughs> uh okay yeah right but so even with that with advances in industry and stuff like that you'd still rather rape the fucking dead person <sighs> I mean, I guess the easiest out is like age of consent thing. So we have to push the boundaries here a little mm -hmm. bit. We have to go like a hard illegal, like uh, yeah. below the Mexican age of consent. <laughs> okay, so it's like, like I have to fuck <laughs> a fifteen-year-old or a dead person or I think an animal. Mexico is thirteen, isn't it? 13 really, or, thirteen or fourteen? Get it together, Mexico. Come on. <laughs> oh, they got it together. What's the quinceanera for? <laughs> they got a plan. <laughs> it's, it's quinceanera slash second birthday. Oh, my God. Okay. Uh... <laughs> the quinceaneras, in case you're not married yet. It's like she's, <laughs> she's withering on the vine. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> get in here quick before she looks haggard that's right <laughs> like these 20 year olds i mean you've been to mexico <laughs> there's a there's a, a lot of very beautiful women but the timeline seems to be short right doesn't it there there does seem to be like an age at which you just inflate much like midwestern yeah. women yeah they have kind of a good fairy Cinderella thing going on, and there's just a clock, and boop, you're a pumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hashtag not all Mexican women. Hashtag not all Mexican women. And and this is... Oh, my God. Okay. <sighs> so. I have to, once a year... <laughs> this is my once a year day. <laughs> <laughs> fuck an animal yeah fuck a corpse yeah fuck like so what age of cutoff are we talking about now like a 12 year old child a 12 year old or i have to rape yeah um okay so immediately i'll tell you for me kids off the list because yeah. in my mind i'm doing both and i am raping and fucking a child mm -hmm. and if i if i'm going to 
like I'm not going to double up. Yeah, so of course. Gonna, yeah, if, it, if the age is that low, a hundred percent, that's off the table. Right. Like if we're talking about like a fucking like seventeen and three hundred and sixty four days old, like enthusiastic dude, I'm more open to it. Say that again. We're talking about a what? Like oh, a, seventeen. Yeah, yeah, I see. Uh, yeah, I, I was putting all those numbers together, and I was like. Some kind of ancient <laughs> fucking fuck. wizard. Yeah. Why are we talking about you fucking an old wizard? <laughs> I always think about fucking old wizards. <laughs> um, okay, and now, but now here's an interesting thing for me. By that same logic of the no doubling up, mm -hmm. I should take animal off the list. Because it's animal rape. Because I would think of that as raping, but I'm not going to take animal off the list. Right. Because, yeah, one of my questions is, like, in the once a year scenario, do I, God, I hate every bit of this. Do I have the ability to seek out an animal that's, like, enthusiastic about it? <laughs> yeah, how are you going to know? That's hard. It's hard to figure out. Mm -hmm. What kind of animal is horny for humans? I there are so many awful pieces of knowledge that I have that are just yeah, I mean, I, you, bubbling to the surface. You know some horny I was just listening to a podcast about the toy box killer. Uh and one of his horrible things was uh he'd like basically give a German shepherd horny juice and have it like rape his captive women. What the fuck is horny juice? Like <laughs> <laughs> I, I think you the said that you just said, you just <laughs> said it like it's a thing that I should be perfectly aware of that like everybody you just go out of the fucking hey, no. gas station and pick up a six pack of horny juice. <laughs> what the I fuck think are you in, talking about? I think in this case the the dog Viagra is um some sort of concentrated like musk of female dog in heat that he would then like slather on the woman. They give dogs viagra i'm i'm saying the the doggo viagra equivalent okay it feels grosser that i just it call them doggos just be a scent yeah so it... yeah for you i think getting an animal to fuck you is easier for me and it's there's no question right mm -hmm. if an animal fucks you they want to right for you though i feel like you have more opportunity because you could go for like a huge animal that wouldn't even feel you. Like, I feel like I would die, but maybe <laughs> there is something to that. I could start a culture of like, it's like an alternative hunting. It's like a test of manhood. <laughs> Go out and you got to put your dick in a bear. <laughs> <laughs> if you come out alive. Yeah. I don't know if I feel bad about that or not. I mean, Bears are assholes to other creatures. Right. So the the bear has definitely done some heinous stuff. Yeah. Then it's like a battle of wills. Mm -hmm. It's a righteous bear rape. <laughs> oh, bother. <laughs> right. Travel to the Arctic and try to fuck a polar bear. <laughs> Okay, I now like... it's now it's got like Hemingway vibes. I almost feel kind of cool. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I might not have to hang my head in shame on that one. Hmm. I am wondering if you got some quality scuba gear and learned how to like find whale vagina. If you could just sort of like wiggle your way underneath, just like hold on for dear life. I'm not fucking a whale. No. No. <laughs> no way. Why is that such a hard no? Because I'm. I feel like that's just guaranteed death. It's like More not than even fucking a struggle. A bear? No, the bear is a tough one for sure. But there and. But it's probably not more than fucking a bear. I don't want to drown. Uh huh. Here's I, the thing. I, I would rather get. I can't explain this and apologies to anyone who has drowned or his family and is has drowned. listening to this podcast currently. I think drowning is just like a pussy way to go and I don't want it to happen to me. 
It's such a womp womp of a death. You got beaten by water. <laughs> I, I shower in that shit, motherfucker. On the weekly. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you, tough guy. You know, I don't know. Like, between, like, just, okay, right? If I, if you heard that I, like, got mauled to death by a bear. Mm-hmm. Right, <laughs> that I fought a bear and died, uh huh, or I drowned in a pool. Like one, you're like, okay, it's very sad, but like, it's badass. You, I, I rise to the level of hero. But you're not in a pool. You're like swimming alongside a okay, mighty just beast. Forget I, you don't say. Just, you just and he drowned, trying to have sex with a whale. <laughs> I guess died trying to have sex with a bear does sound more manly. Absolutely more manly. Yeah. Because whales are just going through the ocean. <laughs> That's right. So. Okay. But something I don't think you're considering for if you're fucking an animal, like the animal could be tranquilized. It could be like knocked out. So you could just get like a big bovine or something, knock it out, just lube up, wicker, wicker, and be done with it, and and it would be none the wiser. I guess so. Is Are the you answer sort of- here fucking a dead animal? <laughs> just <laughs> is that the magic up? combo? If you have to like, if you want to keep living, and so you're not going to go the the like, brave, mm. valiant contest route, mm-hmm. then you're not really raping. Like, it's probably illegal for me to buy, like, like to have a, to, to slaughter a goat and then fuck it. I imagine that's illegal. <laughs> We're going to get comments on the email list. Like, no, sir. Absolutely not illegal. Perfectly legal. <laughs> I've checked. <laughs> checked. I have asked. At least 20 public officials and there are zero <laughs> laws on the books. No one can be prosecuted for this. I imagine that's illegal, though. But if I had to do one per year, that seems to be the most ethical option to fuck a dead animal. Yeah, because it is, it is better. I also like the, the economics of it because then I can eat the meat. Then I can eat the meat. So you can fuck a delicious animal's corpse that's right i'm not gonna eat the butthole anyway <laughs> okay um <laughs> it's tougher for me logistically because i don't know how how i go about fucking a dead animal i guess but you know what maybe my answer doesn't work because that requires two things to become legalized doesn't it and I'm only allowed to legalize one. So isn't that legalizing bestiality and necrophilia? Or if you legalize bestiality... I feel like natro- necrophilia is just about people. I. So you think it's not illegal to fuck a dead animal? I think it's just bestiality, whether the animal's alive or dead. I feel like... It's, oh, yeah? Hmm. I feel like people don't get mad about certain ones. Like, there's a certain size. Like, if you fuck a chicken while it's alive, people are going to be mad at you. Mm-hmm. But if you put your dick in a a chicken from the grocery store, people are going right. to think you're weird, but you're not going to jail. But then right. if you fuck a sheep, people are going to think you're fucked up. And I feel like if you fuck a dead sheep, people might judge you harder. Yes, it's a weird scale. It is, but yeah, you're you're exactly right. Like, chi- like a chicken from the grocery store already has the sort of hollowed out cavity. Yeah, you just sort of waggle your dick around in there, like you're just a, a fun guy at a party. <laughs> <laughs> crazy That's... Max at it again. <laughs> so and then you, you walk sh- into a party <laughs> and you see a man. Just walking through the living room, shaking his dick inside of a chicken. You think that's a fun guy? 
like crazy fucked up kind of fun. Like he's probably shotgunned a few beers already. Like, oh my god, you're attracted to the chicken fucker. <laughs> what does this say about me? <laughs> All right, I'm choosing necrophilia if I don't have to do it. And bestiality if I have to do it and I'm fucking I guess the chicken would be the answer but, that, but that's not really illegal that's like a technical illegal I don't want to cheat here I'm fucking yeah some kind of pig or goat dead what if what if it has to be alive? If it has to, well then, okay. So necrophilia is a human option. Mm-hmm. And if I have to fuck a live animal, mm-hmm. what's my choice then? Mm-hmm. I was like, we're 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 nearly done with the podcast here. There is a part of me, I just want because you know, we have this nice relationship with everybody and we say things that are on our mind. There is a part of me who's like, I could find somebody every year who I thought deserved to be raped. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. I just spend my year looking for enemies. Yeah. You know, just like your dick is the Avenger that we all need. The righteous vengeance rape. (laughs) Yeah. Okay. So I guess I'm going with, if I have to do it every year, righteous rape. (laughs) Gonna be a lot of beautiful women who (laughs) who were bad. Too bad, girl. Oh, God. What's your answer? Um... Yeah, my answer is, if I don't have to do it, necrophilia. If I do have to do it, an enthusiastic animal. I feel I feel like I need to go shower again. Which animal? I guess a dog. Like a pretty, pretty small. They're probably going to be happy about it. So not, you're going to get fucked by a dog instead of avenging the wrongs of society with righteous rape. <laughs> I don't know what that says about you <laughs> and your chicken man ways. But that's all the time we have for now. Everybody, uh, you guys are doing so awesome spreading the word. We really appreciate it. We do like no advertising. That's just how we go. So the advertising that we do is if you like it, if you like the show uh, and you listen to the show, uh, tell somebody, tell somebody you think will like it, share it around, put it out there. Uh, If you guys like it enough to listen to it and tell people, then the show is going to survive. That's how we're going to know is if more and more people keep listening. And so far, more and more people are signing up at dirtyfuck.com for the uh, email lists. Uh, and getting the episode sent directly to them and getting some bonus content with that. And more and more of you guys are listening every single week. Uh, and uh, more and more of you are giving us five stars. That's right. That helps too. You can also give us five stars there. So uh, we love that you guys are listening to the show. We love that you guys are enjoying it. We hope that you're laughing along with us. We love doing this, sitting here, being fucking goofy with you guys. So uh Take care of yourselves this week, spread the word, and we will talk to you later. Bye. Bye.